Welcome to AS Level. We are going to start with Chapter 1, Equations, Expressions, Inequalities and Identities. We will first revise indices. You will find this on page 2 in the new AS Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The rules of indices and search are sometimes used in equations, expressions, identities and inequalities. So, we are going to revise indices first and then introduce the rules and techniques of working with search. So, let's first go through indices. In ordinary level mathematics, we learned about indices. For example, the index of the exponent, this is the power, this is the base. What does it mean? It means you must multiply 2 6 times and you will get 64. Where 2 to the power 6 is read as 2 to the power of 6, in this example the base is 2 and the index, uh, plural indices, is 6. 64 is the 6th power of 2. The index is also called the exponent. In previous grades, we also learned the following laws and definitions. Now, I think it's just good if you just quickly go through them. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So, if the bases are the same and we multiply, we add the exponents. If we, the bases are the same and we divide, we subtract the exponents or the indices. Uh, just be careful. You always, in this case, you say m minus n if m is the bigger one. And if n is the bigger one, you do the subtraction at the bottom. So, this is very nice just to keep this. Uh, and if n is equal to m, so if it's a to the power of 5 to a to the power of 5, then it will also only be equal to 1. And there I gave you a few examples that you can run through. Uh, in this case, m times n, so just you multiply, or if there's 2, then this n is for the a as well as for the b, this is for the a as well as for the b. And there I just showed you also the examples. Anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1, don't forget that, and there I gave you an example, but be careful. This will be equal to 1, but if you multiply with that negative, you will get negative 1. Let me go up a little bit. Okay, and then uh, put it over 1, and if it's, if it's negative, I just take it to the bottom. So look here, I just take it to, from the numerator to the denominator. But if it's negative in the denominator, then I take it up to the numerator to get it positive. And then don't forget your roots. Um, this is in exponent or in a fraction. Now don't forget that that one in the denominator is outside and the one in the numerator is inside. Okay. And then I just quickly go into, and also don't forget a golden rule. Always write it in terms of prime factors. So I think then it's very easy, but then I did it a little bit different. But say, for example, you were saying, 2 to the power of 4, because you take 16, you say 2 can go in 8, 2 can go in 4, 2 can go in 2, 2 can go in 1. So then, this is going to be still to a quarter. Okay, this is actually without the root then, and then it's just going to give me 2. So that was actually another method. The same here, um, if it's negative, then it's negative 3. Uh, so fractional, so don't forget that the 1, in the denominator is outside and the one in the numerator is actually going to be inside like I showed you there. Okay, that is just the basic rules. Uh, this is going to go through an example, very easy and it's a good introduction. Okay, so don't forget and, and because I'm in AS level I will sometimes look for shorter methods because I really try to spare time and to work as fast as possible. So this is the short that you can write that bracket out two times. It's not incorrect. So you can say a two and a half minus five, five b to a half, and then a to a half minus five b to oh, five b to a half. You can do and then multiply. 
Or can you recall the short method? It's basically where you square the first term, you square the last term, and it's a positive. And then, depending on that sign, if it's positive, it's 2, and I just multiply the terms. And if it's negative, because then it's I multiply basically with a negative, and I multiply. So that's how I do it. So look, I square the first term. It's a subtract, so there's the 2, and then it's the first term and the second term, and then I square the last term. And then I get A, and if I do this one, I'm just going to first, um, let's just see, negative, uh, because there's not nothing outside, so negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, and basically just keep that bracket. Don't forget to square, 5 times 5 is 25, and a half plus a half will just then be 1. Uh, if, if I do it like this, I think it's sometimes good, and this is the method because of all these fractions, to, to take your first term and to rewrite that bracket. And then take your second term, you see there, and rewrite. And I think then it's easier because you are, you're going to add a lot of brackets um, there. So I'm going, even going to make it bigger that you see it better. So if you then start to multiply, don't forget to add your exponents. So it's going to be 6, 6 over 3, which is 2. And this is going to be 4 over 3. And, and that one, okay, that's the P, and then that one I rewrite. And then this one, it's just the 2 I rewrite. The 2 I rewrite. Be careful, it's the Q, do you see? So I add there, the P I rewrite, uh, and the Q I just, uh, okay, there. Okay, let's just, um, the P, do you see? Can I show you quickly? This is the Q that I'm going to add. So the P I just rewrite and the Q's I add. A third plus a third is two thirds. And then this, if I add this, both is Q, then it's going to be three over three, which is one. And then I'm just looking um, what can cancel out. And it seems to me this cancel with this. Do you see there? Okay, so it cancel. And then this, this, I want to take another color. This, cancel with this. Okay, and I cancel. And that is what is left. Okay, it's just a lot of fractions, but um, I don't think at this level it's so difficult. Uh, I want you to stop the video. I don't want you to do both. You can do both, but um, I just want you to do number A. And I want to concentrate on the short method. So, and again, continue the video as soon as you are finished. Just going to make it smaller. Still a little bit smaller. Okay, let's start. Okay, so if I start, and this is number A, um, I, I want to do the short method, but you can do the long method. Nothing wrong. Um, now, I cannot just see, it looks like a third. Okay, I think I'm, I'm good there. Okay, I think I'm just going to, because I wanted to keep it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to rewrite it again. So it was 2a and it was a third minus 3b and it's a quarter. And I really want you on this level to, to look for shorter ways. But again, I repeat, if somebody writes it out, it's 100% it's correct. Otherwise, I will take the first bracket and I will square it. And because if I multiply, it's negative, and don't forget, it's always 2. And then I, the first term, and then the second term, I just rewrite. I will now multiply. And then, I'm going to move it a little bit now. Uh, it's going to be, now this is always going to be positive, but if you want, because this will become positive. Okay, but just for explanation's sake. I'm going to put the negative there, and then I square. Oh, let's just get that pen correct, and I square. Okay, 
So don't forget, this. if you multiply this, so it's 2 times 2 or 2 to the power 2, it's going to be 4. And A, uh, put it over 1, then it's going to be easy to see it's 2 over 3. Okay. Uh, if you multiply this one, so it's negative times uh, 2, it's negative 4, times 3, it's negative 12, and then it's a, a, a third, B, a quarter, okay, and then this is going to be positive, and negative 3 times negative 3, that is going to be 9, okay, and then it's going to be B, and it, okay, put it over 1 again. Then you're going to see it's 2 over 4, and that will just be a half. And if I'm checking um, this, I'm just, I, I cannot do anything further. This will be then my final answer. But I repeat, if somebody was writing out the brackets two times, and he was multiply, 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 and he get this answer, he will also be correct.